Hey everybody, Tom from Visionary Music Group here. Anatomy of a Mix number three, I Remember by Drive By Angels. Moving on, this is our second part. We're just catching up on a few loose ends with the lead vocals. So let's take a listen. We're gonna jump around and see how it sits against the track. I listened back real quick and I felt like there was still some things lacking in the tone. And, and you know, I picked this song for a reason because the performance was great, but the vocal had a little distortion, a little too much grit. So I wanted to pick ones that weren't easy, obviously, to show you how sometimes you just have to dig in and troubleshoot. So I shut off a few of the plugins on the lead vocals, and what I did was I activated, right here you'll see liaison A left. So that indicates the dangerous liaison loop selector, which has in this path, it has a Tone Lux EQ API compressor and a Tone Lux compressor. So the Tone Lux compressor is on 20 to one, but it's barely touching, but it makes the voice sound a little fatter. It's not really hitting the compressor. The API is on two to one, but it's a really nice tone shaper. And the Tone Lux EQ gives it some nice high end lift. So that's what that's doing. And the ELOP just fattens it up and makes it creamy and sort of sits it in the right place. So I was able to add those two and get rid of a bunch of other things. That's on this bus right here. So let's listen from the verse. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio played forgotten tunes. I remember. So what I just did there was I clip gained the chorus track, which is on a separate track because they overlapped down a DB. And I just pulled down the fader on the lead vocal down a bit. I had some automation there before, but I got rid of it. So I just want to hear the balance again, same spot. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder As the radio played Forgotten tunes I remember Walking up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close and thank my lucky star so what I was doing too was I was nudging the vocal around for feel. One more time, we'll have it this time. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio played forgotten tunes. I remember walking up and down the boulevard. I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars. Daydreams stirring up old feelings. Wonder if you're thinking about me too. So what I'm working on now is the effects. So I had some automation on there that I took off, a couple of delay throwy things I left on, but I wanted the first verse to be drier now, a little closer to you. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder. As the radio played 
forgotten tunes I remember walking up and down the boulevard so this is what you're going to notice what happens when you do vocals and in a lot of cases, I bring in the vocals a lot sooner because of this. But for this video, I just wanted to follow the straight path and leave the vocals last. So now I'm hearing, like that pad, I want to be a little lusher and, and surround um, the vocal a little more. So, so I was turning it up and down and messing with it and I had some automation on it, so I took it off. So I'm gonna find the right blend against that vocal in the verse. I, I also feel like it kinda has to be spread out further left and right. So let's try that, see if that works. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio played forgotten tunes. I remember. I'm still working on the balance of that low end of those keyboards against the vocal. So I'm gonna solo those up, and this maybe will help some, give us some real definition and clarity in the mix. So let's check out the first verse, and we'll check our keyboards and, and, and vocals together. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder As the radio played Forgotten tunes I remember Walking up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close and thank my love So you're gonna ask me, why is this episode about vocals when you're spending time on other things? Because when I got the other things to sound the way I wanted with the track, I feel like now I have to get them to sound even better and carve some room for the vocal. Because the song is the vocal, the story is the vocal, the vocal's the most important thing. I still didn't turn on this electric piano because I think the mid-range of that and this pad are sort of fussing with each other, so I'm trying to get that down a little bit. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio played forgotten tunes. I remember walking up and down the boat. That feels pretty good. Let's try it again from the verse. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio played forgotten tunes. I remember. Walk 
walking up and down the boulevard. Okay, cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. When you heard everything get brighter for a second, my backseat cute. It wasn't engaged, so the whole mix got brighter. For a minute there, I was thinking, boy, the mix sounds a little dark. I got to do something. So, so now we're good with that. So now when the chorus comes in, right here with this overlapping vocals happening, I definitely want to feel that that be wetter because I did I did dry things up in the verse, but I definitely think this needs a little more verb. So let's turn up the verb. So we had our cool little telephone echoes right here. Make them a little louder on that verse. So let's set ourselves up to come in on the second verse. When I looked in your eyes, my heart stood still and surrendered. So they feel pretty good. They feel like they could be a little bit wetter. And actually a hair louder, but a hair darker. So the question you're probably thinking is, gee, you're going back and forth a lot. Make up your mind, <laughs> or isn't it a checklist? It's an evolving checklist. So you, you knock out tasks, and then you have to go back and revise and revise and revise. That's what mixing is about. It's like sculpting. I've said that in my tip videos. and. Get a big, big rock, you chisel it down, get it close, then you keep going in and fine tuning, working like a sculptor. Let's check. So now, what I hear in the verse when it comes in is that big, huge, powerful snare layers of samples and things. It sounds too, too much for me in this verse. Nice in the chorus to have those options, but let's check that out. So the second snare sample is the big weighty one. So let's take a listen, I'll pop that out. When I looked in your eyes, my heart stood still. And so, so I think it's cool to, to take it out in that verse. So instead of muting the automation or turning down the volume, I'm just muting the waveform. When I looked in your eyes, my heart stood still. That's better. Maybe I'll turn down the snares later when I get deeper in the automation. There's a weight in the snare, uh, I mean the kick, I'm sorry, there's like a lower thud in the kick that I like later but I think I'm going to cut it out here too. Let's find it. So you notice when I, I click on this, they're all on, right? So, so let's say I don't want it to kick group to be engaged. Rather than going over here and muting it, you see it's turning on and off down here. When this little light's on, you can assign, uh, activate and deactivate your groups by the letter. So kicks, I made it K. <laughs> so now it's on, now it's off. So let's listen to one at a time. Just ways to cut your workflow time down. So kick sample two is our clicky kick sample, which was kind of buried all the way through. So I'm gonna raise that up and see how that affects the balance of the kicks. Boom. 
When I looked in your eyes, my heart stood still and surrendered. Well, I loved you right then, and I always So I, I turned up that brighter, clickier one, and that helped, and then it was all a little too loud, so I turned them all down a little. What I may do is I may automate down the hefty one in the, um, in the verse. Let's see. When I looked in your eyes, my heart stood still. And surrender Well, I loved you right then And I always will That's cool. I'm liking that. So, let's check that verse again. When I looked in your eyes My heart stood still And surrender Well, I loved you right then, and I always will. I remember, recall the nights we spent. Okay, so I'm going to focus now on the acoustic guitar and the vocal. Not so much volume, but, uh, you know, frequency response. Maybe it feels like something's rubbing together there for me. Frequency masking, they call it. When I looked in your eyes, my heart stood still and surrendered. So it sounded great together. I think it's just too loud. Sometimes simple is better. When I looked in your eyes, my heart stood still and surrendered. Well, I loved you right then. Yeah. I remember. Recall the nights we spent up on the roof. The summer air was warm with your perfume. The daydreams stirring up a feet. Okay, so. So the, the snares got a little loud for me in the pre-chorus. I know I'm, listen, I'm supposed to be listening to the vocals, but <laughs> these are fighting with them, so I'm going to turn them down. Right after that, when that the big fat snare sample comes in, it seems too hefty right there in that, in that first chorus. So let's, let's roll up to the, the bridge. All right, and I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to gain, reduce it a little, and the clip gain. Let's see what happens there. So what I was listening for there, this particular guitar, picking guitar in the chorus, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So there's a nice little interplay going on between those guitars. Yes, I know I'm supposed to be working on vocals, but I can't help it. It's all coming together. Let's let's just for a second listen to this, because this really made me, you know, they're kind of calling it answers to the vocal. So we have first do da 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 two two uh, motifs like that. Okay, so now I'm going to balance these against it, and then I'm going to use the automation on this because 
then I can just cut and paste the automation here. And, and I know this part's going to want to be automated for some, some reason or another. So uh, let's do that. So I think the blend's getting better. I think they're a little too wet in the choruses, but I do like the atmosphere in the verses. So they're going to this particular aux. So I'm going to um, tone that all down, all the ambience. we're pretty good so what I'm gonna do is repeat that automation onto this one cool so that uh, dotted eighth delay is still really flying all over the place there so let's take that down one more notch and then let's focus in a little bit on the, the vocal <laughs> which is what we're supposed to be doing right from there I gained up the vocals a little bit right on the on the clip let's hear it Okay, great. So from that chorus, I feel like we need now we need this this vocal to be more dynamic in terms of ambience. So I, I did make it drier in the verses, but I'm thinking in this particular spot, it has to really blow up for us. Word gone's begging for some kind of echo throw. Let's see if the quarter note delay works all the way through. Yeah, I'm liking that. So, you know, of course you get distracted when you're doing this because you get an idea. We're going to get that big delay throw at the end of that chorus before the breakdown, but let's try something. The word time might be nice for our telephone echo, which is right here. So now I'm going to get off of this and make it nudge. All right, so that's working, so we need two of them. So if you noticed, I had to I had to move it up by a 64th note. Because there was something going on and we had to nudge the performance forward, so. Time cannot erase. The 
echo supposed to sound like it's getting further away each time. So the second one was louder than the first one. That's why I felt a little disorienting. So I'm going to make the first one a hair louder and the second one softer. Time cannot erase all of you. Time cannot erase all of these moments. Okay, so I didn't forget about that gun. So that's a new word and gone is right there. So let's try turning on this echo throw we have here. Let's check it out soloed because I like it on the word gone, but when there's the riffing at the end, which is really nice, I don't want it there. But I do want the, the feedback to hang over. So let's shut off the send to it on the riffing part and see what, how it feels now. And you were gone. 